Everybody knows that Philadelphia is home of the Liberty Bell, the Declaration of Independence, and our founding fathers. But I didn't know any of that. So in this first piece, I still don't. And that's really going to piss a lot of these people off. All right, I'm down here in the City Tavern in the heart of Philadelphia. The actual building where the Founding Fathers worked on the Declaration of Independence. And these are the three people we're playing the joke on. Amber, Robert, and Hector. Now Amber and Hector are history buffs, and Robert is a school teacher. Who better to review a new play about the signing of the Declaration of Independence that's meant for kids? The experiment? How will they react when they see that our version of history isn't quite suitable for children? Uh, this is uh, meant for fifth graders up to eighth graders. I'd like to bring out now um, Ben Franklin. Hello. Hello. So what we've done is really tried to show what really happened detail by detail. So without any further ado, picture if you will, day not unlike today, in the year 1776. June 1776, five men had been tasked with forming a declaration committee. This committee would shape the words that would in turn shape this great country. Who needs those other men? Why, I can draw up this great declaration myself. <laughs> we are the people. No, that's not it. What I've written clearly blows chunks. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Ben. What am I doing? I am such a douchebag. <laughs> Where is my main man, Thomas Jefferson, when I need him? Oh, Sally Hemings. Oh, Thomas Jefferson. Britain and America will never come together. But you know what will? What? Our lips. <laughs> Sally Hemings would have been about three years old at the time of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. But who cares? They're all dead anyway. <laughs> TJ? What up? Are you trying to tag my gal? Your gal? I've been hitting that since 1775. <laughs> Prepare for Duke. <laughs> dudes, dudes, take it easy. Seriously. I thought we were here to draft a Declaration of Independence, not scuffle. Now these words we draft must inspire. I think we must construct a missive that will illuminate a dark and... Uh, Tom? Yes, Ben? Would you mind speaking English so everybody can understand? Sure. I just meant to say I think this thing is dope. Yes, yes, very dope indeed. But what about the king? Screw the king. Screw the king? Yeah. <laughs> Capping those British asses. You're gonna see my face on the hundred dollar bill. It's all about me, the Benjamin. I think I'm gonna dance now. Go Ben. 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 Oh, look, fellas. It is Betsy Rawls. And 
Sally Hemmings. So, boys, we understand that you told the King of England to go screw himself. Yeah. Congratulations. Is there anything that we can do for you? Well... Now don't forget, our marks think that they're here to see a play that's meant for fifth graders. School sure has changed. USA, 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 USA. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. That they are endowed by that creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of booty. <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. Um, so we want to uh, open the floor to any comments or questions. Yes. You can't be serious, can you? Well, what, what can't we be serious about? I know my kids don't even know what boobs are yet. Betsy Ross does a lap dance. I'm doing my homework. My kids aren't going to get a lap dance. Get the kid interested. Yes. Give him a woody. Give him a woody. Side. Yeah. <laughs> they won't even know what the hell the thing is if it goes up. Well, let me tell you, they'll know after this play. <laughs> well, I don't understand what's your problem to say. When I was going to school, people were having sex and doing drugs in kindergarten. Is anybody else a teacher here? Am I by myself here? Yes. Yes. Help a brother out. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Pornographic direct. It is not historically accurate at all. Are you a historian? Yeah. I know a little bit of history. Yes. Now, I'd also like to tell you what you are, is you're an idiot. <laughs> oh, don't worry. The lady in the green here is one of our actresses. Maybe you should leave school, yeah. yeah. Why don't you go fornicate yourself? Oh, wow. <laughs> she can stick it up her arse. Yeah. So I'd just like to let everyone know, thank you for coming, and I would like to let this gentleman in the blue know, and this gentleman in the blue know, and this young lady over here know that they have been axed. Oh, no! Does you know that Hank Harris know that Jamie Kennedy is married? Oh, my God. Jamie Kennedy! Ah, yeah. Jamie Kennedy! Jamie Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.